Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. This is Black Horse Sign of Black and again asking you to hit that share button because the message is more important than the messenger. This message is actually about another message and that message is uh, the message being sent to thinking black men and really just normal Western men. But I'm concerned about black men. Uh, normal black men of normal and above intelligence by the uh, women's half of the sexual market, Western women's half of the sexual market. <laughs> the Western broads uh, who do this really shouldn't be called women, so I'm not going to use the term women to apply to them because actual women shouldn't be blamed for things that uh, overgrown girls have done any more than grown men, solid men, should ever be blamed for the things that little fuckboys do. Fair is fair. Women are very quick to refuse to call a man a man because they even so much as disagree with him, let alone if he actually acts out of pocket and acts younger than his age. Well, that's got to work both ways then. That being said, the message being sent through words sometimes and through actions all the time is you lame nigga. You ain't got no swag. Uh, so, you're genetically inferior, and uh, you really don't deserve to get, you really don't deserve to ever have any normal sex in your life. You only deserve either to be castrated or to be raped by the men in prison, um, or to live out your lives being uh, abnormally sexually frustrated because you're just that inferior. Meanwhile, we don't even have, need to grow up and we're entitled to whatever dick we want and we only want like 14% of all the adult penises out there. So you, 86%, uh, are genetically inferior. You don't have to do anything wrong or disgusting or bad. You're just automatically genetically inferior because you're not what we dream about. You're not royalty. You're not in the top 14% of height, muscles, money, and fame. So the best deal that you deserve, the best deal you deserve, is for us to come at you. Salam alaikum, sukamano. The best deal you deserve is for us to come at you when we have given our valuables and our most valuables and most valuable years and health to guys who haven't really done anything to earn it, but they just happen to be in this top 14% uh, of the metrics that I've mentioned. Uh, height, muscles, money, and fame. Fame could be social status in the immediate area, but you get what I'm saying. Meanwhile, all of you men, are not, you're not allowed to judge us the same way we judge men. You're not allowed to judge us based on what your friends think of us. Uh, especially if that's not favorable to us. You men are not allowed to judge us um, by how mature we act. Because we don't really feel like acting uh, with maturity. And we shouldn't have to, because see, we have tits and ass and a vagina. You don't have those. So you need to be a man, but we don't even have to grow up and be women. <laughs> and uh, what's more, um, yeah, that's what we're being told. That's what we're being shown. That's the gist of it. So I'm going to say to, uh, in response to this, since we are being told and being shown as normal men, we don't even have to be below average. Nothing really bad about us. Just as normal men, that the best we could ever deserve is some paltry pussy in exchange for raising anybody else's kids. Uh, we're going to have to start saying back to the market. It is not our job to be stupid. And it is not our job to be patient so that you can be stupid. Repatriation was the answer for the black community, men and women, decades ago. Not everybody could repatriate. But it was not taken by the majority of us as even being a solution for which to work. There are many places to which we could repatriate. I recommend many places in the tropics, in and outside of the continent of Africa, but I recommend the tropics in general. Why? We can develop the tropics. Most of us, being of tropical origin, need about a year's time to readjust to the tropics, after which we would not get sick anymore. Europeans don't have that. 
you throw them in the deep tropics with the high humidity and only two seasons like a wet and a dry season and they're going to get quite tired and that first year if they survive it is not a guarantee that they're going to survive the rest they're not going to be at their physical best within the tropics all the time it's not going to happen that being said as well um we have the skill sets we had the skill sets back then to make other countries work and, and, and develop. We didn't take it as a whole. This being said, nowadays, black men are more into repatriation to different areas and for different reasons, but black men are more into repatriation than our black women, Western black men. I'd say black men, period, because black men in tropical nations will move to developed nations. Black men in developed nations will move to other developed or tropical nations. We're just, regardless of nationality, we're more likely to move than any African-American woman. Now, black women of other countries, I'm not gonna make the comparison, it's up to them. But black American women are the least likely to move, although they will visit. They will visit and they will say, look, I'm gonna give you this money so you can slang that dingling. Why? Because she's in control. Because she's slanging the money. He slangs the pipe. But as far as actually settling with a man, settling down with a man from abroad, if that man is going to hold to the traditional model of you do what I say or I'm going to slap you or even a less traditional model of you do what I say or I'm going to leave, she ain't going to go for it. So she's not going to go for repatriation, neither romantically nor literally. What do you do in a case like that? What this means is that men, black men, in the West have been forced to understand repatriation's necessity. Black women in the West have not been forced to understand its necessity. Therefore, we're just going to have to migrate without them. They're gonna be those who are down with it. They've already left. Many times though, they're already married too. So, we're just gonna to have to understand that a lot of us are going to have to go, so I'm we're going to have to go by ourselves and move to these other areas. Some of us are going to be able to go with wives, but a lot of us are going to have to just go by ourselves. And we're just going to have to leave a lot of sisters behind because a lot of sisters ain't going to get on board with a program like that. Because that just ain't who they are. There's no way to save someone that can see and hear what is the solution and refuses to take it. That being said, Brothers, um, this is what's being told to you by the market again and again. Additionally, even though that is what is being told to you by the market again and again and again and again, I also want you to understand, brothers, that um, which you, all you need to say back is what I said. It ain't our job to be stupid and it ain't our job to be patient so that you can be stupid and make stupid decisions. It's not even our job to stay on this plantation. Now, some would say, well, and I've heard, you know, brothers like Megan say, why don't you stay and build? Here's why. We built the plantations. The literal plantations of the antebellum south were built by us. We didn't own them, but we built them. Slave women didn't respect us a lot of times either. Oh, did you know that there was certain, I mean, the brutality of the slave trade was more traumatic for men and women alike than what either of us now today knows. But what a lot of us fail to realize as well is this. The... <clears throat> See, there were things that happened, like, for instance, if a 15-year-old boy's dingling was not big enough, he got castrated. Stuff like that. That's not sister's fault. They weren't doing this. But because they do not understand the importance of blaming the white man for our problems, and I mean that literally, that's an important thing to understand, because they don't understand that, we can't take them with us. The only ones we can take with us are the ones who understand the difference between what we're accountable for and what they're accountable for. That's it. A lot of them are not, I mean, a lot of our sisters and mothers ain't gonna be able to go. You're just gonna have to leave them. A lot of our daughters are gonna insist on not going. You're gonna have to leave them too. And as a father of two daughters, I don't like that idea, but it may come down to that. But it is not your job to just sit there and suffer in silence so that they don't have to. Just this is not their job to sit there and suffer so that you don't have to. I hope this has been a benefit. Black art sign of blackout. Assalamu alaikum.